up guys so I just picked up something off of a uh, get auto factory I don't know if you've heard of that spot or not um, so really cool stuff uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything I just really like the stuff that they sell uh, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's see what's inside Comes with a little sticker. That's pretty cool. I've always wanted one of these stickers. These are cool. So this is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, Japanese backup alarm. Um, bought it on impulse. Crazy impulse buy. <laughs> uh, it's about a. No, I'm not gonna tell you guys the price. You guys can find out yourselves. <laughs> but uh, it said it would come with instructions, some wiring instructions, but. Uh, um, I. Uh, don't really know uh, what what to think of this, but um, let's uh, go ahead and uh, pull the Miata in. We're gonna drill in some holes, get this mounted, and then we're gonna wire it up. Things first. Uh, I have to figure out which one is the correct backup tone. Cause when I bought it, uh, I was given like an option of what tone I wanted, and uh, it comes loaded with. A, like some Japanese lady like saying like oh please be careful uh, the car is backing up in Japanese and the other tone is uh, like I think it's Mickey Mouse I don't know we're about to find out said to um, mount it somewhere that uh, doesn't see that much water so I'm not too sure where I'm gonna mount it yet but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the car jacked up and then uh, I'll meet you guys under there so I'm not too sure uh, on where I want to mount it yet. Um, I do have some extra nuts and bolts. I was thinking maybe uh, mount it at this hole right here. Um, but uh, if that doesn't work, then I'm probably going to end up drilling two holes over here. Um, you know, if all else fails, I could probably sneak it into one of these bolts over here where the factory tow hook is. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out. I'll let you guys know how I did it. And I'll uh, show you the finished product. So, here's the uh, finished product. Um, I ended up not drilling anywhere because I didn't feel like it. But, uh, I just used one of the stock uh, bolts that I'm pretty sure is for the uh, rear bumper support. I uh, just stuck the nut off, you know, stuck it on and then put the nut back on. But uh, I might cut this off, I'm not too sure, because uh, it's pretty ugly. I'm just going to go ahead and wire these up um, and then see how I feel afterwards. Alright, 
right, so what I did, so I soldered the two wires together. I don't know if you can see it right here. No, you can't see it, but um, I went ahead and routed the wire along with these little white clips here. I don't know if you can see them. And then there's a little uh, grommet over here. So I just took that off. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wire through over here. And then we're gonna throw that grommet back on. And then the next step is to pop this off. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. Oops. And then we have to splice into this red wire over here. And that will allow the backup alarm to turn on when my backup lights turn on. So I went ahead and tapped it by using some uh, these little crimp tubes and using to connect two ends of a wire together. Um, I didn't feel safe uh, soldering it because it was right next to a light bulb. You know, I could have removed it, but I eh, didn't really feel like it. So there you go. That's how I tapped into my reverse wire. Went ahead and extended the wire over here, and as you can see, everything still fits, but uh, well, the next step is to make sure it works. So I got the key in, and the next step is to throw it in reverse. So looks like it's working pretty uh, pretty well. I didn't uh, I didn't expect the Pink Panther to come on, but uh, <clears throat> I think it's still pretty cool. So uh, let's check out how it's gonna sound with the car on. So I, uh, I guess when the car is on, um, that Japanese lady says it over and over again. But uh, I guess when the car is off. Pink Panther theme starts playing, and she says, "Excuse me," after it plays through once. Kind of silly mod, but uh, <laughs> looked like a cool idea when I saw it on the internet, so just picked it up. But uh, if you're wondering again where I got it, uh, I got it from GetJapan.com. Uh, once again, not sponsored by them or anything. I just really like the stuff that they sell. Um, yeah, uh, just keep in mind that when you buy it, uh, no instructions will be uh, included unless, unless you can read this stuff. But, uh, 
other than that, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I have a crank shaft coming in the mail, hopefully by next week. Uh, I paid the guy on eBay already, but uh, he hasn't sent it yet. So uh, we're just gonna do what we always do, just wait it out. And then when it comes in, I'll go ahead and show you guys how it came in the mail. And then I will open it with you guys as well. Um, once again, I'm still pretty new at this stuff, so, I mean, if you have any pointers or tips, ideas for, for content or anything like that, sorry, my garage is a mess, but, uh, just go ahead and, uh, drop it in the comment section below, um, <clears throat> also, Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button for more weird random content like this. And uh, make sure you give this video a like. It'll really help me out. But uh, thank you for watching. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get my car down. And then probably take a couple shots of the car backing up outside just to see how it sounds outside. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next one.